Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are doing a laundry motivation video because I had a bunch of laundry I had to do, so I figured I would take you along for the ride. <laughs> I know sometimes these videos are hit or miss, sometimes you love them, sometimes you're not in the mood for them. So I guess we'll just wing it today and I hope that this gives you guys a ton, a ton of motivation and I hope you enjoy it. If you're new here, I'm Becca. I'm a mom to three and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join the family. I do a cleaning video every Monday and Friday. I always jam pack it with laundry motivation, real life cleaning motivation. I always keep it honest and real over here. So if you like that type of content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Today we are starting off with my bedding. I really needed to get this in the wash. It's been a little while, definitely needs to get washing and it's been a little while since I've done my comforter too, so we're gonna wash that today as well. And of course, there were blankets in the dryer, so we're gonna take those out. I'm also going to do the boys bedding today since I'm doing bedding I might as well get it all done and theirs needed to get done as well I do not like doing bedding it's probably my least favorite load of laundry to do aside from the boys laundry because there's so many little pieces um, but I just really don't enjoy doing bedding I don't like having to put the beds back together and all of that work and everything so sometimes I just try to do it all in one day so that I don't have to do it again another day, right? So make it easier on yourself, get it done and over with so you don't have to do it again another day, get it all done in one day. For those of you who are new around here, I'm sure the question will be asked, why do I not put laundry detergent in my laundry? I actually have a tank within my washer and I don't have to add it every single time. I usually, honestly, usually add laundry detergent. It's like once every two weeks or every month. I wanna say it's once every month, but it might be every two weeks, maybe every three weeks. Either way, it's a long enough time period to where I don't even know exactly when it is because it's that infrequent, but it's one of the reasons that I was sold on this washing machine. I just love the idea of being able to put it in the tank and not have to worry about it, not have to mess with it every time you put a load in. So that is why you don't see me put any laundry detergent in. Okay, I have never shared how I tuck in my sheet. I don't think I ever have. And I think it's a great opportunity since I'm doing it to talk with you guys about it. So I tuck the sheet underneath and then I kind of flap up the side and tuck the rest underneath. Again, it's kind of hard to explain, but I learned how to do that whenever I was working at the base hotel when I lived in Hawaii. And I've done it ever since. It's the only way that like, I've never had a sheet come untucked doing it this way and it's kind of aesthetically pleasing. So if you guys want, I just let me know in the comments down below and I will show you a more in depth how to do it next time I do my sheets in one of my cleaning videos um, or next time I do one of the boys sheets in the cleaning video because um, I do all of the beds the same way. It's seriously tried and true. I love it. It's the best way to like tuck in your sheet um, and I don't think I've ever shared it here before. Let me breathe. 
switch the boys laundry or their bedding and then I'm gonna throw these okay so these were the blankets that were in the dryer whenever I started this video these were the blankets that were in the dryer but I noticed when I pulled them out of the dryer that they still smelled kind of like dog and musty and everything and it really bothered me so I actually bought a new detergent i bought the up and up brand detergent from target which is supposed to be like it's supposed to be like a tide free and gentle detergent and i usually do tide or all um and those both of those work really really great um so i was like let me try the up and up because sometimes you know you never know with the up and up brand or even with the great value brand sometimes it surprises you and it works great and you save so much money on it that i was like it's worth giving it a try but it did not do it for me. I actually turned my washer on. So my washer has a setting to where you can do auto for the detergent, which is usually what I have it on and it'll go by the weight in the, you know, the drum, or you can do more or less, right? So I just upped it to more and, you know, it thankfully is helping, but I obviously don't want to waste more laundry detergent just to make sure that everything, you know, smells clean, comes out smelling clean. So. You know, I tried it, didn't work, so I'll probably just go back to either Tide or All. Now that the boys beds are all made i'm gonna go ahead and toss their laundry in the wash because i needed to do their laundry as well grayson was running really low on shorts so it was time to go ahead and do their load also the basket is full and i try to run by the method of when the basket's full go ahead and toss the load in As you can tell, I'm collecting a little pile on top of the dryer. <laughs> Anything that doesn't really like have a specific home or like closet to live in, I usually kind of just toss it on top of the dryer. Granted the towels, most of those towels are like pool towels. So I try to put them in my pool bag or they go on the golf cart. Um, so usually a lot of stuff like that will sit on top of the dryer for a little while until I get the motivation to really like delegate and put them where they belong. Everything gets folded when it gets out of my dryer. Like when I take, but sometimes things sit in the dryer for a couple days or sometimes they sit on top of the dryer folded, but that's the best I can do.
on to folding the boys laundry which is my least favorite load of laundry to fold because no matter how small their load is it's always so many clothes um i did actually have a question i think on a recent video about asking to show you how i fold their clothes and i saw that after i did this video but i will next time i do a cleaning video and i do the boys laundry i will show a more in depth on how i fold their clothes because it there is like a method to the madness it is called kanmari style um so if you want to look that up yourself too you can also look it up but i will also show in an upcoming video how i do it because i absolutely love how I do their laundry. I used to do my laundry this way too when I had a dresser, but I don't have a dresser now, so I don't even bother, but I love doing it this way. It's the easiest way when you are dealing with dressers, it's the easiest way to do anybody's laundry because then you can, the way you fold it and the way you store it, you can visually see everything you have and nothing's hiding underneath piles. So I love it. I will definitely show you a more in depth uh, next time. All right, friends, that is it for this laundry motivation video. I wish I could have added more to it because I still had more laundry to do, but unfortunately I did not have enough time in the day to do it all. So tomorrow is a new day. Thank you so much for choosing to click on this video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, I hope you hit that subscribe button. Please give this video a thumbs up. That really helps my channel and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.